Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic from numerical integration. The name of a topic is double integrals using trapeze hurdle method. Let us consider I have a function i equal to integration y0 to yn integration x0 to xn f of x comma y dx dy. Here if you see as we have this first dx here, so therefore these limits will be x0 to xn. After that we have a dy, so therefore these limits will be y0 to yn. Now let us consider that spacing between x is denoted by h and spacing between y is denoted by now let us find it out, first we have to prepare here a table. So how to prepare a table for that case, let me draw the table like this. First of all, here we will take values of x, here we will take values of y. So first element will be x0 as it is started from x0 limit, so it will be x0. Next element will be x1 which is equal to x0 plus h. Now you will ask me why we are taking h because spacing between x is denoted by h. And let us say the last value here will be x2 equal to x1 plus h. Similarly we have values of y, so first will be y0. Then y1 will be equal to y0 plus k because if you see k is nothing but your uh, spacing between y and similarly y2 will be equal to y1 plus k. Now we have a function f of x comma y. So thing is that how to find it out this value. So it should be f of substitute here x equal to x0 substitute here y equal to y0 value. So you will get f of x0 comma y0. This value will be f of x1 comma this is your y0. This value will be f of x equal to x2, y equal to y0. Similarly, you have to find it out this will be f of x equal to x0, y equal to y1. This is f of x equal to x1, y equal to y1. f of x equal to x2 and y equal to y1 because this is your x2 and this will be your y1. Column is x2 and rho is y1. Here if you see for this column is x0, so x equal to x0 and y equal to y2. Then this will be f of x1 comma y2 and this will be f of x2 comma y2. Now let me take other color pane so that I am going to mark here some special symbols. All corner elements put it in a box. So these are all four corner elements, we are putting it in a box. You will ask me why we are doing it, because just for uh, uh, remem uh, remembering this formula. Then all the middle elements, these are indicated by arrow. So you have to indicate these elements uh, by arrow. And let us say it should be taken in other box. This middle term, it is taken in a other box. Now, what is the formula of trapeze hurdle rule? So let me write it as here, trapeze hurdle rule. So how to write the formula? I will be equal to HK upon 4 into bracket sum of terms, sum of terms within box, sum of terms within box plus 2 into, 2 into sum of terms, sum of terms indicated, indicated by arrow plus 4 into, 4 into middle term from the table, middle term from table. 
In other words also, you will be able to write this formula as HK upon 4. Now what are the uh, elements which are present in the box? If you see it will be what? F of X0, Y0 plus F of X0, Y2 plus F of X2, Y0 plus F of X2, Y2 plus 2 into sum of the terms which are indicated by arrow. So if you see it will be what? F of X1, Y1 plus F of X1, Y2 if you see here X1, Y1 let me see here again X1, Y0 then X2, Y1 ok so here uh, by mistake I, I, I have written here x1 y1 it is not x1 y1 it is x1 y0 this element this element then f of x2 y1 i have written f of x2 y1 then if you see f of x1 y2 which is to be written here and next is f of x0 y1 so here plus f of x0 y1 plus 4 into middle term, what is the middle term here? It is f of x1, y1. So let me write it as f of x1, y1. So this will be your total formula for calculation of double integral using trapezoidal method. In the next video lecture, we have to discuss how to solve a problem of trapezoidal method of a double integral. Thank you for watching this video.